So when you guys send me questions on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter as well, I go ahead and answer them for you guys and give you some of my insight. So let's start things off with Sammy. When are the 2018 NFL schedules coming out? Very interesting question. So we don't actually have an exact date here. Now, a year ago, the NFL released the schedule on Thursday, April 20th. That was one full week before the NFL draft. And with the draft on the 26th now, in this season, I'm thinking maybe around April 17th to the 24th. If the NFL is going by that same formula as last year, the schedule will be released on April 19th. Now, we do know the opponents for the San Francisco 49ers, and I have some top potential opening games here. And we're going through the Raiders, the Rams, the Seahawks, maybe the Vikings on the road, the Green Bay Packers on the road. Now, it looks like the Vikings are going to be taking on the Philadelphia Eagles in that opening night game, but we put the Vikings there as a potential. But I want to hear from you. Which opponent would you want to play in Week 1? Give me a heart for the Oakland Raiders, a wow face for the Los Angeles Rams, a like for the Seattle Seahawks, and a laughing face for the Minnesota Vikings. Hit me up in the reaction poll as well as the comment section below. I'll tell you one thing. One rumor I was hearing about, perhaps a Monday night opener against the Oakland Raiders. That would be very fun, no doubt about that. Jimmy G in prime time to start off the 2018 campaign. All right, let's get to the next question here. Monty, why can't we pull the trigger on Odell Beckham Jr.? We have said we wanted an elite wide receiver. Well, Monty, there are a lot of moving parts. First of all, I want to make something very clear. The Giants are not actively shopping Odell Beckham Jr. Now, with that said, Rumors have indicated that the 49ers are in a proactive mode, if you will, kind of listening to perhaps the potentiality of bringing in Odell. So here is the hypothetical trade if the 49ers were to make this blockbuster deal go down. So the 49ers obviously get Odell Beckham Jr. The Giants get a treasure chest of picks. The number nine overall pick in 2018. 57 overall pick in 2018 and a 2019 first round pick. So rumors say that the Giants are demanding two first round picks and then some. So I'm thinking that and then some will probably be the 57th overall pick for the San Francisco 49ers. So if the Niners feel like they want to trade away that number nine pick, they don't get the pieces that they want to fall to them, etc. Maybe this trade could go down. Again, it's all hypothetical, but if it were to happen, that's kind of the layout that I'm envisioning there. So Monty chiming in with that question. Curtis asking about EQ St. Brown in the second round. What do you think, guys? I like it a lot. I think EQ would certainly be a fantastic addition to the 49ers. This kid is big. 6'5", 214. Obviously would be a really solid red zone threat as well. Had 33 receptions for 515 yards and four touchdowns in 2017. Performed well at the 40 in the combine, too. I think it'd be a really fine pickup for the 49ers. Keep an eye on Auden Tate, too. I'll uh, talk about him in a matter of moments here. Garland. So the 49ers draft a big downhill style running back. I miss Frank Gore. Garland, I miss Frank Gore as well. And you know what? I'm zoning in on this running back here. Nick Chubb out of Georgia. He is a true bowling ball. Now, you see his numbers there, over 1,300 yards, 6 yards per carry, 15 touchdowns to his credit. I think he'd be a very solid addition to the 49ers. Had a 4.52 40-yard dash. The question is, how badly does Shanahan want an RB like Chubb? The 49ers shelved out a lot of money for McKinnon, which tells me, you know, he's probably going to get a lot of work there. Plus, the team already has two young running backs that they like and Matt Breida and Joe Williams. So if the 49ers do draft someone like Chubb, somebody's going to get cut. It's either going to be Williams or it's going to be Breida. So that's kind of what I'm looking at there. But Nick Chubb obviously would be a really solid bruiser type of back if you 49ers fans out there are looking for one. So keep an eye on Chubb. David Lynn, do you think we will go into the 2018 season with our wide receivers as they are, or will we draft a wide receiver? David, I'm pretty darn confident that the 49ers are going to select at least one wide receiver in the NFL draft. And I'm zoning in on this guy, Auden Tate, whom the 49ers recently met with. This guy is the prototypical size that you want inside the 20s. 
40 receptions, 548 yards, 10 touchdowns to his credit. 6'5", 228, long arms. He's a bit raw, needs to polish his route running a little bit. But there's not too much pressure, pressure on Auden to kind of be in that starting role either if he were to be drafted because you already have Pierre Garçon and Trent Taylor and Marquise Goodwin playing at wide receiver. That's a solid trio of players there. You bring in Auden Tate, maybe in, you know, in a specialty role in his first year, see what he can do in the red zone. He is a little slow, and that's kind of the knock on him. His 40-yard time is one of the worst among wide receivers, but Auden Tate as a kind of basketball, box him out kind of wide receiver inside the red zone would certainly be a viable option there for Jimmy Garoppolo. All right, of course, folks, hit me up on Twitter, on YouTube, on Facebook Live with all of your questions, and I'll be sure to answer more next week as well. You've watched the 49ers Report. I'm Cam Rogers. Check me out on Twitter at MrRogers99. I'll see you next time.